the main draw for Zigbee. Zigbee wouldn't work without it being a, uh, a, a, a mesh network. It wouldn't work without there being end devices, low power end devices that actually don't participate in the mesh, but do rely on router devices that are mains power devices that are part of the mesh. So um, when I want to send a message across my home or across a building, I have to rely on these routers and they, and they form themselves. It's, it's, there's no configuration needed to set each one up. It just, it just works that method hops. And if I want to find another uh, node in the network, I, I send out a broadcast or a group cast and I can find, find that node. Um, and, and those, and the links between the nodes, the, the path that the node takes is figured out based on the, um, and the signal strength between the nodes. So it, it just works. So that's the key, right? Specifically, Zigbee creates and forms and maintains very, very secure mesh networks. And in fact, these are without peer in the industry today. On the other side, uh, over those years, uh, given this very robust mesh networking technology that we've implemented, application engineers have become very interested in layering application components on top of this. And many hundreds of these industry experts have all gotten together and defined uh, attributes and commands for controlling hundreds of different kinds of devices. And this has evolved to something that we call the Zigbee cluster library. And today it is the most comprehensive definition of devices that you would find in your home and provide the subtext on which original equipment manufacturers can build devices, knowing that these devices are going to operate robustly in the context of our Zigbee mesh protocol. Self-healing mesh allows you to just uh, bridge around issues that uh, might appear in the network. So if you have some connectivity problems, um, you know, you can just route around it and you can find a new route. Um, the mesh is really powerful to, to be able to do that. Um, so that's really, really powerful, especially in, uh, in, in like, like, like consumer um, applications, lighting demand and that sort of thing. So uh, it's really, really useful. So you, you end up with a, a, a seamless uh, communication where uh, in other systems, you might not, uh, might not have that. Thank you.